Hi, so first of all, I imagine it's been a, a pretty good week around the camp and the squad, hasn't it, on the back of last weekend's victory? Yes, because uh, I had said before the other game that uh, it was a really, really important game for, for us against a direct uh, rival, so it was uh, a really important game. Uh, and a part of the game was the, the performance was because uh, I think we played a, a good game. We have uh, recovered again our uh, consistency on the on the pitch, and uh, I'm really pleased because having those uh, points, uh, the play especially uh, adding more experience, and I think it's the, the main thing to keep adding that experience in the Premier League. Given that you'd expect a side like Bournemouth to be competing with you um, during the course of the season. How significant then is it for the players to get able to go out there, not only to win, but keep a clean sheet as well? Yeah, it's um, uh, the second clean sheet in two weeks. It's uh, always important, and uh, once again, it's the Bournemouth is one of our rivals, but we can't forget that they have one more year experience, uh, they have a, a really good player, so it's, uh, it was a tough game for, for us, but it was again. Uh, we're going to, to keep going. And in terms of, of team confidence, morale, was that win timely? Sorry? Was that win, did that win come at the right time in terms of maintaining confidence and morale? Yeah, because if we had lost against uh, Bromont, uh, everything would have been completely different. But now with three points, uh, two clean seats, the atmosphere again is uh, completely different. Uh, the players are, if, uh, they can be. They are more confident because, again, with uh, looking at the, the table, 10 points is much better than three with uh, seven now and uh, Man City in front of us. But uh, we were in this situation two weeks ago before going to, to Arsenal, and uh, I said I was really confident. So it's just to, to keep going because we know how tough this league is. Talk just a little bit about Gaston Ramirez and his influence on the team and how much he's likes to be missed this weekend as well. It was, uh, Important player for us, but it's not just the, the last uh, few weeks. It was really important last uh, last season. But uh, again, uh, we are a, a team, so we have to play with different players. Gaston can't play, but uh, I'm sure the player who replaces him is going to play perfect. So I can't be negative, I have to be positive because uh, all of them showed me every single day that they can trust them. Do you, do you feel after bringing in a number of new faces in the summer? You're now beginning to settle on what your best starting level is. Yes, but uh, it's been uh, difficult because uh, we brought a few players in, but uh, the players who were here didn't have experience in, in Premier League, so it's been a, a mix of uh, both of them. But now, once again, adding points is, uh, is easier, but it was. Uh, Good for me, the reaction that we had against uh, West Ham after losing against the uh, Watford, I think, and uh, our reaction against uh, no, after losing against uh, Crystal Palace, and our, our reaction against uh, Arsenal after losing against the uh, Watford. So next on the calendar, an away trip to, to Manchester City. Could this fixture have come perhaps at a better time later in the year, given what they've achieved in the last week? No, I think it's uh, the same matter that I said when we went to, to Arsenal. So we've been working three years to, to play these kind of games and now is the, the following fixture, so we are really, we are really looking forward to, to this game. And when you were at Real Madrid, obviously with Jose's assistant in the dugout, you come up against Pep Bears, Barcelona head coach. How much are you looking forward to facing him now on equal terms on Saturday? It's a really nice game for, for us, I think, because uh, both teams <coughs> from Spain and uh, uh, they said that uh, with uh, Pep here, the, the league uh, was uh, was going to improve and uh, he's showing that, uh, how good he is. And now we have to, to play against them, but uh, we have to to think about ourselves. We played really well against uh, Arsenal and it was difficult for them to, to beat us, but uh, we have to go to Emirates emir uh, thinking that it's going to be a emir no, pretty hard. Uh, thinking that it's a, a really tough game because uh, Man City is on a missing team. How highly do you regard Pep as a manager and head coach? Sorry? How highly do you regard Pep by the end? Mm. He's uh, one of the, the best coaches and uh, I think now, especially after the last uh, win against uh, Barcelona, uh, he's uh, 
changing a little bit because uh, in the past uh, it was always uh, about possession, but uh, the last game he scored goals, uh, counter attacks, or sometimes they play long ball from uh, Colorado to Aguero. So when you have uh, this, um, those players and uh, you have a lot of alternatives, uh, it's, it's good for a, for a coach and he's uh, improving and he's uh, learning the, the football here. And if I was to tell you that Man City are the team Middlesbrough beats in the Premier League more than any other opponents they've faced 11 times in all, would that give you any extra confidence out of this weekend? No, oh, my, my confidence comes from the last two fixtures. So it's the, the, only, the only thing that I am uh, confident. The, the last two fixtures and the, the transition in the, the training ground. Thank you. Did you watch the Barcelona game? Yes. <laughs> what was going through your mind, especially during that second half? No, it wasn't. Uh, you know, because when sometimes when you play against uh, teams uh, which, you are, which uh, you are not used to to watch them on TV, maybe they can surprise you. But uh, it wasn't a, a surprise because they have a, an amazing players, and uh, again, they now they have other alternatives. So it was a, a normal game. Uh, as a football man, I know you're looking at it as the manager of their next opponents, but can you also sit back and just admire and enjoy the quality of the football at times? To enjoy the... The quality of their football, yes. Uh, every single day, especially that when we play against them. Uh, always when you are watching a good team like uh, Barcelona, Man City, Real Madrid or Arsenal or a lot of, uh, a lot of teams uh, as a... As a um, for the man, you, you like to, to watch good, good games always. So have you very much been drawing on the Arsenal performance in your preparation for this game? Yes and no. Because, uh, yes, because uh, both of them are really good uh, players and really, really good uh, teams, but uh, their style is uh, a little bit uh, different and uh, one mistake can, can be to, one mistake that we can make is uh, to go there thinking that uh, like we should have won against Arsenal is going to be a no easy game, but we are going to have our chances and we will have our chances if we play in the way that we have to, to play. Do you feel in many ways that the away games are suiting your style a little bit more because the away performances have been quite encouraging? Uh, in the past uh, the last uh, months maybe yes, but I think our, after our performance last uh, week at home uh, now we are again more more confident. But uh, for example, our performance against uh, Stoke was really good at home. Uh, against the Crystal Palace, we lost, but uh, we saw at least uh, draw that uh, that game against Watford was the, the same. So it was just to to score to score goals to be more confident, and uh, thankfully those goals arrived the last uh, Saturday. For uh, the Grado as well, an ex City player, is this a particularly important game? I hope because uh, you know he played uh, there. He was uh, good there. He, was, he won the, the league, I think. So it's a, a important game for him. But the, the main thing for me is that he's uh, improving. He's uh, fighting you know, for the for the team. He assisted last uh, last week to to Stuart, and when uh, Stuart went to celebrate uh, the goal, he was uh, telling everybody that uh, it was a uh, Alvaro assist. So everybody in this team knows uh, how hard he's uh, working. A great motivation for him to start off on a goal scoring run against his old club. Yes, and uh, again, as a, as a striker, always you are thinking about uh, the scoring goals. But uh, when you are a striker, a good, good striker, and you are not scoring goals, at least you have to work for the, for the team, and he's doing at the moment. Managers sometimes say, uh, give us 10 games before we make a judgment. So, what judgment would you have on Middlesbrough after 10 games now in the Premier League? I'm uh, really confident with the with the future, but uh, I am the same confident as I uh, as I was uh, two weeks ago before going Arsenal, and we had uh, seven points, and we had Arsenal away, Bournemouth at home, and uh, my confidence is the, the same because uh, again I know how good the group has uh, worked in the, in the in the in the summer, and uh, I know and I trust every single player 100. percent You mentioned some of the. Uh, players didn't have that degree of Premier League experience. What do you think they've learned from these first ten games? Then, they, it's, uh, it's 
especially for the players who, who were here, it was uh, difficult to to change because the last season we were all almost winning every single game, and uh, you know now you want uh, always to win the, the games, but sometimes now it's more important to to not lose, and then when you are not losing, to try to to win, and uh, that uh, reminds me when I came here, and uh, the first thing that we had to do is to fix the. The mistakes and to, to try to not come see the loss. November's a pretty tough looking month for you. I know there's the World Cup uh, uh, qualifying break, but you've got Manchester City away, Chelsea at home, and the Leicester Champions away. Have you set any sort of target to try and keep up the, with the pace from those three games? Not because, uh, for example, it's uh, last, uh, not last, uh, the previous game against uh, Arsenal when uh, we were in a bad position on the on the table and we went to, to Arsenal thinking just about that game and it's the way that we have to, to think always and it's the way that we always uh, think going to Man City thinking just about the Man City game.